Hello everybody, this is Jason Artiga and this is another episode of Cinema Macabro. Today's episode, I'll be giving a review on a 2008 shot on video horror film directed by William Hopkins, Demon Resurrection. The film was intended for the blockbuster market, but the following year of production, Blockbuster went under. Demon Resurrection was shot on a pro-consumer video camera, the Canon XL1S, the predecessor to the Canon XL1, same camera used on 28 Days Later. The film was shot in Long Island for a budget of $65,000. Demon Resurrection is a throwback to movies like Night of the Living Dead or the 70s Tomb of the Blind Dead series of the Grindhouse era. Yes, the movie is at a low budget film and at times it shows, but it manages to make an excellent production with little that they had, which makes the film even better after a second viewing knowing this. The film centers on Grace, played by actress Alexis Golightly, a woman who at first is hinted at having a drug problem. Her boyfriend John, played by Damien Ladd, gathers her friends at a secluded hot home for the weekend intervention. John has knowledge of the occult, and he feels something far more sinister than Grace's alleged drug addiction is coming at them. And it's later revealed that Grace was an occult who did something horrendous to her and made her escape. The leader, Toth, played by the marvelous scene-stealing Will McDonald, who's at the top of his game in his production, and his creepy limo driver, Joe Sasso, go after Grace at the secluded home of John to bring her back. Toth seems charming, and after the boyfriend kicked, Grace's boyfriend kicks him out the house, he politely threatens her friends only to bring back long dead demons from a recently dug nearby excavation site to wreck havoc kill the occupants and bring back grace now for starters i'm a brutally honest reviewer and during this era of digital filmmaking during the millennia i had met people and worked with people who made films on uh the same camera or cameras that are similar and a lot of these films were lackluster and tripe and they try to copy on other films and they just look cheaper than what they really were. Because of my honesty, I practically don't speak to a lot of these filmmakers that I've worked with and honestly, I had low expectations for this film because of my experiences working as a filmmaker, working as a cameraman or even directing my own film and I was wrong. Demon Resurrection is far from that. For a low budget film, Demon Resurrection is highly ambitious. It has amazing sculpted uh, FX for the zombies, uh, animatronics in one scene, subtle uses of Photoshop and After Effects that give this film an amazing atmosphere and color palette. For a film to have post effects and barely noticeable green screen in one scene that I won't give away was impressive. Demon Resurrection was a siege film. Yes, you can see where it borrows its plot from The Evil Dead, Night of the Living Dead, and Demon Knight, but what siege film doesn't? However, it has its own charm, and that saves the film. For a horror film that it has no comic relief, it was a film that was rightly, rightfully taken seriously. Demon Resurrection is a film I would have probably saw at Chilla Theater or some light late night television horror matinee back in the 80s. And it brought back those memories without pushing the 80s look and cramming it down our throats. Despite some of the amateurish acting from the rest of the cast, you can see William Hopkins is a great director. And you can see that the whole cast believed in this project 100%. And I like that. And you can see them get better as the movie progresses. And that's what made the film rewatchable. I saw the film a total of three times already. Demon Resurrection relies on no jump scares, but pure atmosphere. There are plenty of shocking death scenes, including one involving a window, which I won't, won't give away. The creatures on the film are genuinely scary. And for a low-budget film, they actually had 12 suits, which is highly ambitious for a low-budget film. The undead creatures have this visceral appetite for flesh, and they're slow-moving, but like in such a wraith-like way. Mind you, there's no slow motion in this film because the camera shot on 30 frames a second make it virtually impossible. And for a low budget film shot on video, there's plenty of gore and nudity. I won't spoil it for you, but Demon Resurrection is a must watch. 
especially if you like that era of filmmaking. And after a while, you know, you forget that you're watching a horror film shot in standard definition. For me, it was the first 20 minutes. I saw William Hopkins HD cut and it was pretty good. And Demon Resurrection entertained me and left me wanting more. I had the pleasure of meeting William Hopkins at our film festival and art show, LIC Fear, and he gave a great question and answer afterwards. And I would love for him to come in the near future and talk about his film in an upcoming episode of Cinema Macabro. And if you like this video, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button. I could use a lot more subscribers and it helps out a lot. And if you want to leave any comments for any ideas for any upcoming shows, please do so in the comment box. And with that, I'll see you at the next episode.